everybody, it is McQuinny, and welcome back to another episode of The Devil and Me. Last time, Charlie Lonet was burned to death, sadly. Moment of silence for that man. Uh, and also, we got to the Columbus Spa, just a beat-down old spa. Uh, and we are playing as Jamie now, because we got separated from... Uh, or, Jamie and Mark got separated from Kate, so yeah. Let's go ahead and see what we can do now. So last time we were just right here, and we can't do anything in here. Wait, where do we go? Oh, I bet you... Oh, right here. Oh God. <laughs> the fuck is that? What is that? That's a dead person. Oh, it's just an animatronic of a dead person. Hmm. Wish I remembered the names of the people that left to go see their family, you know what I mean? Before, the, you know, when in reality they just got absolutely murdered. Is that all that was in here? Just a dead woman? Oh, what is this? A paper. Some of their contractor paper. Jesse, I quit with immediate effect by the time you. Can you read this? I will have already left the island. The whole time looking for me, I quit. Monica. That person just quit no notice on them like that? Okay. What else do we have? Some nude mannequins, that's fun. I do love me some nude mannequins. This is not creepy at all. Oh my god, it's another dead person. And I can't see because it's so blurry. Oh god. This one got hung. Oh wait, I wonder if he had it. Yeah, he had his ID on the ground here. Which one was it? Frank. Haldman. Frank Haldman. Oh God. See, this is when it gets, like, super scary to me, when it's, like, pitch black around. It's terrifying, in my opinion. Okay, what is next? Oh, hello, mannequin. Okay, we were just over there. Oh my god, Mark. <laughs> Mark just scared the hell out of me. He just... Hello! Turn the corner like that. Oh 
Hello, naked mannequin man. Where the hell am I supposed to be going? Oh, right here. Oh, hell no. Is it going to have me pull down the... It's going to have me pull down the thing. Or Oh, no, I'm climbing up here. <laughs> Is Killer Man watching us? Obviously. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Hello? Oh! What the fuck just happened? I knew I shouldn't have walked in. <laughs> well, someone from the contractor fucking place just got obliterated. The fuck, dude? What is this place? I'd rather be back at the hotel in this fucking spa place. Jesus. flashlight fucking sucks. I thought it was good at first, and then it, it, it sucks. Oh my god. What is happening now? Where the fuck am I? It's platforming? What the f Jump down. There must be a way out. So it's, it's just showing the death of all the people that worked on the place. I guess since he's going to be a murderer and he had this place built, he murdered the people who built it so no one knew about it. I, I'm just assuming. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, it's a token. There's got to be a way through. So some are worth different amounts, I think. Some of the tokens maybe on their rarity of like how to find them. Um, how do I get out? It is really, really hard to see. It is so dark. I'm not 100% sure how to get out of here. must be something useful around here. Here, I can climb up on top of this. Is there anything? Oh, wait, is this where I started at? Or is this... I can't tell. Is this where I started at or no? Oh, shit. Jamie, I'm trying to look. Oh wait, no, I think I think this is the right way. Yes, it is. Keep looking around. Jump down. Oh, and then go across here, I see. <sighs> And jump on these pallets. And then go up here. Look at me. I'm a platforming god right now. And then we gotta... Shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. At the slowest possible speed. Grandma shimmy. This game is scary. And it kind of terrifies me. No point just standing around. Mark, give me a hand moving this shit. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Barely. I'm really bad at button spamming on mouse. I don't know why. I'm just... Just ass. That was loud.
Oh, better get a move on. Better get a move on. God, I hate these hallways. Huh. Oh, there's a dead guy down there. I'm gonna shimmy over a dead man's body. Wonder how he died. Must have fallen or something like that. Maybe the floor collapsed on him. Oh no. Oh no. At least it's brighter in here. Oh no, is this another trap game? What the fuck? Monica's the one who quit. What the fuck? Two people strapped up by their necks on a chain playing. What is this gonna be? Tug of war? Ain't no way. Let me see what happens. Yep. They're gonna play tug of war. Oh no. And the person that loses gets murdered. Oh! These are, I bet you these are real, like, previous murders that he's done. It's crazy. So if nobody wins by the time the timer runs out, does it just kill both of them or what? You won! Congratulations! You murdered a woman via saw. At least I get the key. What is the dog barking at? This fucking dog's barking. I hope you can't hear it, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Every time the mailman comes or anything like that, the dog starts freaking out and barking. All right, Mark. Well, we watched that person get die, uh, get get died, get killed, and you're speechless. So that's great. What's behind the lobby door? Nothing. Oh, hello, mannequin. Hello, other dead mannequin woman. Oh, that's Kate. Hey, what's up, Kate? Okay. Found Cape. We're okay. Oh, thank God. We found a key. Let's get out of here. The final three survivors right here. Oh! There he is, Mr. Murder Man. This way. Oh, 182. Uh, 
Oh, Aaron. had enough of this shit. What the hell is going on? Well, Dumet offered a unique H.H. H. Holmes experience and Charlie couldn't resist. Problem is, for Dumet, it's real. Moving walls, traps, tricks. It's everything Holmes did. So why? Why is he doing it? Why did Holmes do what he did? Why do any of the killers we've covered do the shit they do? Upbringing. Trauma. They're crazy. crazy. But they aren't. You know what I mean. Let's just find Aaron. Hoping there'd be a premonition over here instead I found a token. <laughs> That's the killer. <laughs> You see him? You're just gonna follow him? Oh, there's blood on his hand. Over here. Holy shit. Is this? We don't know what it is. I'll watch the door. You guys look around. The hell is a heart rate monitor? What the fuck is this? It appears to be like a gurney. That's her microphone, the one that <laughs> she tried to attack with and then got herself killed with. Shit. Is it going to be her? Yep. Here, I found her. Is that her? Oh no, I don't want to look. Has our heart hooked up and running? And now she's dead. Jamie, wait. I hooked a speaker up to her, her heart, everything. It's crazy. What the fuck did he do to her? I'm so, so sorry. Don't fucking touch me. Don't start pretending like you give a shit now. Let's focus on getting the hell out of here. You two can fight later. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. We can make guesses all day, but if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective, I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. 
We play his games, we'll lose. We need to That's another him. thing. He sets He's it up, he gets everyone's time. mind working, we need to and then Hang on. everyone's weak, and he tries to kill him. Is. Where should we go? Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on the line. Maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it's in good enough. The lighthouse. The guy can Maybe still hear you. Signal for help. <laughs> There's police boats patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. Are you shooting any of this? No one is going to believe it without proof. You want me to record him trying to kill us? Send the bodies for the cops. Oh, and he heard you, and now he's gonna come kill you. The walls are moving Quality. Kate, Kate why would you run away? Close. Shit! She's an idiot. Kate, hang on! Yep. Ah. <laughs> ah. What an idiot. This guy is just sitting at a keyboard, just controlling everything. Fuck. And now Jamie's alone. And we're probably gonna have to play as Jamie. Oh, we're actually playing as Mark. Oh, your ass cheeks are about to get sliced open! Oh, it's just the camera. He's being hung by the camera. Got the camera. Yes. Cameras in cameras in safekeeping. <coughs> Find a way out. The hell is this stuff? <laughs> Where's the option to stick my hand in it and see what happens? <laughs> oh, here's the here's a control panel. I don't know what it does. Let's see. Drain. So it's like a acid control panel, maybe. Oh my god, hold on. Ugh, randomly got the cough. Nope, oh, we found a doubloon. Good old pirate's doubloon, raha. That one was worth 10. I guess that one's more rare. Where are we going? Where are we going? Here's how we leave. It's locked. So we gotta find a key. Got to find us a key. Hide? Oh, oh god. Q, Q, okay. Oh my god, that scared me. I don't know what just happened. Is the, oh, yep, there's the killer. He just looked at me, we just made eye contact. Somehow he didn't see me. So if I don't hide well enough, is he gonna kill Mark? Like if I let go a Q right now, is he just gonna kill Mark? Oh, we find we get like a close up of the killer right here. Hello, Mr. Killer, sir. Hello, Mr. Tumat. How you doing?
He's right there. He's gone now. Okay. Imagine, I just follow him. I was up, Mr. Dumet. <laughs> <coughs> be like, I'll be your sidekick. You don't kill me. I'll help you kill the rest of them. Oh, God. It's dark in here. Oh, this is his... His animatronic workshop. That we've seen multiple times. Oh, shit. He's coming. Where? Where do I hide at? Where do I hide at? Where do I hide at? Over here. Get down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm hidden. What's he coming back for? Oh my god. We're totally just hiding under the table of this guy. If he just went like, he just looked down, he would see us. Oh my god, is he sawing someone apart over there? Oh! Shush it, Mark! He's gonna have to reach down and grab it. Yeah, I'm assuming that Mark will die if you mess this up. So I'm gonna try not to. Just leave the hand on the ground? Oh no. Yep, yeah, he did. He doesn't care. Like, fuck that hand. So this is like a little stealthy part of the gameplay. Okay. Hello, Kate. As an animatronic. Oh, and there's the bartender animatronic right there. Is he gonna jump scare me if I look at him or what? Bar... 0028. Is that something I need to remember? 0028. Oh, God. This reminds me of the Five Nights at Freddy's security... <gasps> security breach when all the the mangled skeletons were in a room and they were following you every time you turn around. Look at all these damn things. <clears throat> oh. Another hide. That's just like some stealth filler. The lights go out for. Is he in here? What the fuck is that? What is that? That thing looks like a whole ass zombie, bro. What the fuck? Hello, Mr. Killer. Oh, you're looking at him right now. He's like, oh, yeah, I just fucking murdered that guy yesterday. Who cares? He's like, okay, back to work. It's very, very calm and just randomly stops and walks around for a guy that's in his own murder castle. Oh, I thought I accidentally let go of a Q. I was like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> the camera shifted. Is he leaving or is he just walking over there to walk over there? Because I'm scared to let go. Waiting out of here, a door shut. Okay, yeah, he, he left. Yep. Let's go see what's going on with this zombie dude. What's up, Holmes? Guys, 
begging me to press the button. <laughs> I think I just murdered the guy. Whatever was alive in him. Well, I put him out of his misery. Another doubloon. Press the button! Press the button! Alright, what's in here? Oh, fuck. What was the number? On the back of the... Is it 0029? Or zero, zero, I don't remember it. I think that's right. No. Well, shit. It was, I'm assuming the number that was on the back of the bartender's neck, right? And I don't remember what it was, because I got distracted. Unless it's in here somewhere. FBI, Department of Investigation, Agent Hector Monday. Behavioral behavioral science unit. Welcome new recruits, FBI training. So this guy has an obsession with Hec Hector Monday. Maybe it's someone he killed, or he is. Okay. See, I want. I okay. Here, let's. <coughs> I wonder if it's too late to go back. <coughs> oh god. I'm dying. I bet it's too late to go back. Damn it. It's over here. Is this like a weapon I can use to like stab him later in the game? No. Oh, I think it is. I think it's something I can use to stab him like a sword. Yep. <laughs> I can use to penetrate his bowels. This might be stupid and I might get killed trying, but I kind of want to go see what that number was again. What's this? I didn't see this. Oh, maybe this is the number. 6883. Let's try that. There's I've, I've seen a lot of numbers in this area. Let's try 6883. Yeah, that one's correct. So it wasn't the bartender's number. Is that Mark? You okay? No. I just this fucking thing popped out of nowhere. Oh, <laughs> it's the camera of the HH Holmes uh animatronic. I don't know why. I mean, but okay. <sighs> All right, what's in here? A jump scare probably. No. Class was that a confidential? What is a confidential file? Psychological assessment conducted by Dr. Isabella Garcia. Documentary time. Name, Monday, Hector. This the is the FBI agent. Hector arrived at our scheduled appointment 24 minutes late. Once we sat down and began the session, he struggled to maintain eye contact. He found it difficult to articulate his feelings and was terse and guarded throughout. Hector has been working long hours and as a result, isn't sleeping well. Hector spoke about his recently deceased mother and displayed evidence that he hasn't yet fully come to terms with her death. I strongly recommended a course of antidepressants, but he is resistant to this idea, believing that it would have a detrimental effect on his capability with regards to his current investigation. 
Hector describes his work in immaculate detail, and contrary to earlier in the session, his thought content is both coherent and logical. He is displaying an unhealthy obsession with his work, but his recent bereavement may be the underlying issue. So is the killer maybe Hector Monday? And maybe he like went insane on the job? And then like maybe because he saw people die or saw because it said that he was like a behavior unit, behavioral unit guy or something. Here, let's take a look at it. What was it? It's like a behavior unit. Yeah, behavioral science unit. So maybe he saw these behaviors, realized he is into these behaviors, and then changed. This is how we're gonna get out. And we're gonna crawl to safety from there. All you see is like him just come up, or the killer come up with the grate back on, and then you just see him get chopped into smithereens. Jamie. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Thank you all for coming out and watching another episode of The Devil in Me. Uh, next time we're gonna be Jamie and find a way out of here and probably get jump scared some more. Let's see where we go from there. But thank you guys for coming out and watching another episode. If you guys enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Maybe drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all are thinking. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.